G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you an acoustic version of Blank Space by Taylor Swift. Now this acoustic rendition of Blank Space that I'm about to teach you is based off Taylor's recent performance at the Grammy Museum. To check out a video of that performance, then just click the link here. I want you to note though that the chords that I'm showing you here do not match up with the recorded version of the song. If you play these chords with the recorded version of the song, it's not going to sound the same. So just bear that in mind. This is strictly for the acoustic performance that she does in this video. So for the basics, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and your capo on the sixth fret. Now there's six chord shapes that you'll need to know for this song. Now if you want to master your chord shapes back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. So the six chord shapes are G, E minor seven, C sus2, so for the C sus2 you're putting your pinky and ring finger on the 3rd fret relative to the capo on the 1st and 2nd string and then you're taking your middle finger and you're simply putting it on the 3rd fret of the 5th string. You're not going to hit the open 6th string either and that's C sus2. We have D sus2, D and finally A minor. Now we'll start with the intro, which will probably be the trickiest part of this song. So for the intro, we're basing it off the G chord. And what's going to make this complicated is the strumming pattern that we're going to use. In addition to that, there's a hammer on and pull off that we need to do based off this G chord. So when you're playing this G chord, you don't necessarily have to put your index finger down on that second fret of the fifth string. You can leave that floating because we'll be using that later on. So the strumming pattern is going to be a long one and you've got to repeat this twice. It'll go something like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And one more time. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And with the G chord, it will sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Now with our floating index finger, we're actually going to hammer on to the second fret of the third string. Now that hammer on is going to happen at the red highlighted down strum that I have here. And then we're going to pull it off on the green highlighted down strum in the strumming pattern. This hammer on and pull off will be during the down strum. Like that. So you're going to hit all the strings and at the same time hammer on or pull off. And altogether the chord progression will sound like this. One more time. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Now, if you don't want to play that hammer on pull off lick and you just want an easy version of playing this intro, then it's just simply the G chord and you'll be doing this simple strumming pattern four times. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And in succession, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So the actual intro that she plays will sound like this. Or the easy version you can play will sound like this. Now we get to the verse of the song, which is just an easy four chord chord progression. The progression will be G, E minor seven, C sus two, and then D sus four. Now the strumming pattern we'll play will be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So what we learnt in the easy intro. Each one of those chords will be played for two strumming patterns each. Another thing that Taylor does when she plays this verse is palm mutes all the strings to give it that soft feel. So the verse should sound like this. And 
that's it for the verse. Now we get to the chorus, and the chorus just has two lines of chords. The first line goes G, E minor 7, A minor, C, and D. Now the first three chords will be played for two strumming patterns each, and the C and the D will be played for one strumming pattern each. And in the chorus, we're not going to be palm muting the strings anymore, we'll just be strumming like normal. And then finally, the second line of chords is G, E minor 7, A minor, and then C. Now for this last C, you'll be playing it for one and a half strumming patterns. So the half strumming pattern will sound like this, down, up, down, up, down. So the one and a half strumming patterns for that last C will sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So in total, the chorus will sound like this. Now the bridge is just going to be the G chord strummed with that strumming pattern over and over and over. So that's nice and easy. So now I'm just going to be playing the intro, verse, chorus and bridge. I'm going to have a backing track on top for some context. So play along and see how you go. So that's everything for this acoustic rendition of Blank Space performed by Taylor Swift at the Grammy Museum. Make sure you check out the video to that performance here. Please note that if you play the chords I've shown you here along with the original track, it's not going to sound the same. This is strictly the acoustic version that she plays in that video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you want to see more in the future, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave your thoughts, comments, and questions below, and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.